Now think about an object launched straight up and at the same time another object launched at an angle. So I'll draw the ground here and let's imagine one object thrown straight up so here's its initial velocity upward and we'll call that object A and here's another object thrown at an angle. We'll call that object B. Now I've drawn these in a particular way and take note of this. This vector B here is longer. That means object B is thrown faster. But it's thrown at an angle. It's not thrown in the same direction as object A. I've, I've tried to draw these so that the height of vector A is the same as the height of vector B. In other words, if we were to draw the horizontal and vertical components of vector B, we would see that B has a certain amount of speed to the right and a certain amount of speed up. And I've deliberately drawn these so that they go up to the same height. Those little arrows reach up to the same height. That means that the vertical speed for vector A, which is its only speed, is the same as the vertical speed for vector B. And what I'm saying now is that the horizontal part here is completely independent of the vertical part. If we were to watch these objects sail through the air, object B would go up some and then gravity would slow it and it would come back down. And object A would also go up and gravity would slow it and it would come back down. Now, if these vectors both have the same amount of vertical speed, then they will end up reaching the same height and spending the same time in the air. So if we were to draw a line across here that would represent the height that they reach, they both end up reaching the same maximum height and they both end up spending the same amount of time in the air. It's the vertical part of the motion that determines how high something goes and how long it stays in the air. And the, the horizontal motion is completely independent of that. So we'll take some notes here if you want to write down this expl explanation. You can say object B is thrown faster. And you can see that because the vector itself is longer. Object B is thrown faster. but they both have the same upward speed. They both have the same upward speed. Okay. Therefore they reach the same height and they spend the same amount of time in the air. the horizontal and vertical motion don't affect each other. The fact that it's moving to the right really fast in this case doesn't make it stay in the air any longer. It's only the vertical part of the speed that makes it stay in the air or that determines the time that it spends in the air.